Hello and welcome, it's Monatot and I am going to show you a card making video which is made for Thermoweb blog and channel. This week we have collaboration with Happy Doodle and I am going to show you how I made these happy underwater cards. First I am starting with the background and I am going to use the grass green premium cardstock from Gina K Designs. I cut the cardstock for 5.5 by 4 and a quarter inches. Next I am going to use the iCraft Deco Fold Transfer Gel with the Candy Store Stencil by Heffy Doodle. I am applying the transfer gel to the paper through the stencil and gently pulling with the stencil pen. Because of its large coverage area stencil pen makes it even easier. Once I am done, I am remove the stencil and going to clean all my used supplies and let the background dry completely. As you can see, the white gel dried completely. It took around the hole. I decided to make two backgrounds. For the tone in tone look, I picked the spring green deco foil transfer sheets and I picked different shades of deco foil transfer sheets of blue and green colors. You can find the specified colors in the description box below. I styled the colorful decofoil stripes on the background and added it between decofoil parch parchment paper and run it through the laminator. Now as you can see, I made folds with the stencil, but I am okay with them. If the gap is in the center, it's no problem, nobody can see that. But if it's on the edges, I am going to cover them with grass green cardstock from Gina K Designs and nobody will know the problem. Conclusion I need to buy pixie spray to my stencils. Next I am going to create a sentiment with the same shades of decofoil transfer sheets and decofoil foam adhesive. I am going to use the Stitch Alphabeters dies and hug sentiments from Happy Doodle with the decofoil foam adhesive. Once all my die cuts are done, I peel off the paper from the front and I am going to add the foil with the color side up and I am going to push the foil lightly to the foam adhesive. Now I am going to create a background for the underwater critters with quick ink blending. I am using the Peacock Feathers Distress, Distress Oxide ink on a dark blue cardstock. When it was done, I added white, blue and black watercolor splatters on it. The next step is stamping and coloring. I decided to use the Oceans of Love, the Celebrate and the Dinky Dino stamp set for creating my card. I colored the images with my Copic markers. This time I am showing you how I colored these cute turtles from Heffy Doodle. The other images are colored off camera because I didn't want to make this video too long. After the coloring, I am using the purple tape to fix the dies on the paper and run them through the die cut machine. I also made a quick heat embossing with sentiment stamps on the background and on a piece of black cardstock. Now it's time to put together the card. For the background, I am using the permanent adhesive dot runner from Gina K Designs. For the images, I am using the leftover foam adhesive pieces, as well as the iCraft Ultra Bond liquid adhesive. And yay, the card is ready! And these are the final cards. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your crafty friends. If you are already subscribed, ring the bell to don't miss any new tutorials. Have a happy day! Bye!